think of when you hear the term ADHD? Um, I believe it's people who have a lot of energy. I have it myself, so a lot of teachers, they wouldn't, they'd say, oh, it's hard to teach someone with ADHD because they can't concentrate. Basically, is an attention-seeking disorder where you can't focus long at times or you kind of have a child way about you. ADHD is a topic which isn't covered much, so we wanted to find out what people think they know about the disorder and have a look into some of the stigmas surrounding it. What do you think when people describe having ADHD as suffering from ADHD? Mm. Suffering for me is of something that is detrimental to your health or something that you are getting a lot of pain from. To me, you have ADHD, you live with it. The hardest thing for me is knowing that it's the majority of the time it's genetic. Mm. Dylan actually got his diagnosis before me. Oh. <laughs> so Dylan was six when he had his official diagnosis. Mm. I noticed there was something with Dylan around the age of 18 months. Mm -hmm. Without him, I still wouldn't have my diagnosis. Mm. I think I would still be struggling or not have answers to certain behaviors. Mm. To get some expert knowledge on ADHD, I've come to speak to Dr. Becky Spellman. Becky, tell me, what are some of the causes to ADHD? Well, we don't really know what causes ADHD, but some of the signs and symptoms are when people has, have difficulty paying attention, particularly when they're not so interested in the topic. Some other things that people are affected by are hating mornings and being really sluggish mm -hmm. in the morning, and their, their brains are more switched on at night time. Also, lateness. If anyone is spotting any of those signs, I would say go for an assessment and uh, get that official diagnosis. Get a report that goes with it because you can get some exceptions in academic environments. Yeah. You can get some extra time in exams if you have that diagnosis. And actually, you know, there are some really successful people who are living with ADHD and some of them have said that it's because of their ADHD that they have become so creative that they've been able to channel their energy in that field. Is that an accurate? Absolutely. People with ADHD have amazing minds. In mm. fact, sometimes they can be masterminds. And the reason for that is the neural pathways in the brain get redirected. Mm. So if you have a deficit in, in a certain area, such, such as attention, your brain is going to find other ways to make that happen mm -hmm. and that allows people to be very creative. I'm about to meet a British judo champion who has a number of accolades under his belt, including a World Cup gold, a Commonwealth gold, as well as a whole host of others. He also happens to have ADHD. So Ashley, can you tell me about when you were diagnosed with ADHD? I was diagnosed pretty young. Um, I went to Colin Gardens to be diagnosed. Uh, I was in school, in and out of school. My mum didn't really know what was up with me. She thought mm. I was just a pretty hyperactive kid on Coca-Cola, but I <laughs> certainly wasn't. You know, would you say that actually some of the success in your, in your career, has it been sort of stifled or enabled by your experiences? I definitely, definitely would say my ADHD has brought me, should I say, to cameras or to mm -hmm. programs. Obviously, the Bad Boy Olympian, the Olympic Dreams, the Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. I wouldn't have had that if I didn't. I don't think I had ADHD. You know, I wouldn't have been the character okay. I am. I think. Yeah. Would I say? If there's someone who's watching and perhaps say their experience isn't quite as as positive as yours is, you know, what advice would you give them? So pick something you like and channel your energy into it. There's so many people out there. You know, what we've got the exact same as us. You know, mm. Michael Phelps. That's yeah. a prime example. Someone who's naturally got it. Actually, you've inspired me. It's so good to speak to you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.